This is awesome. Thanks so much. You know, I called Mike up the other day. Oh, you did? And someone said, hello, this is the smartest man in the whole world. In the whole world. So right away, I knew I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> well, anyways, my name is Ryan. I live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Amish country. Yeah, and I... Woo! I, I took Mike Amish water skiing. Amish water skiing? That sounds fun. It was a disaster. The horses almost drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I started when I was just 12 years old. Now, of course, back then I wasn't traveling the country or you know, performing on cruises. We'd go to our local retirement home, make the people laugh. Oh, they loved us there. The time we left, there wasn't a dry seat in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is not true. Yes, it is, Mike. The one guy was laughing so hard, there were tears running down his leg. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, we have done this a long time. Yes, too long. I'm thinking of going solo. So, solo? Yes. And what would you do without me? I would run for Congress. <laughs> really? Yep, absolutely. What's one more dummy in Washington, huh? <laughs> uh, it would not work. I would not go along. I would not need you. <laughs> Really? Getting another ventriloquist there would be easy. Lots of them know how to talk out of those sides that are now. Yeah. Mm. We just don't mention any specific names. Don't worry, I would never pick on my friend Donald Trump. <gasps> you're, you're friends with Donald Trump? Yeah, how do you know him? Well, he gets his hair the same place I get mine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you did it. You just made half the crowd mad. No, we're on Huckabee, probably 95%. What? <laughs> so I want you to do a joke about the current administration. Not yet. Why not? I'm just biding my time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> think about it, Mike. You'll get it. <laughs> Sometimes he's a couple horses short of a buggy ride. No, that's... <laughs> so anyway, no, seriously. You know what? Do that Hillary one we used to do. What? I emailed you a bunch of Hillary jokes. Tell one of those. I don't remember. All my Hillary emails got deleted. Well, then... <gasps> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> well, we want to thank Mike. And we love him and his wife. She said Mike is a model husband. A mo well, good job, Mike. No, it's not. I looked it up in the dictionary to see what that means. A model is a small representation of the real thing. <laughs> and that, that's... Well, we, we love the Huckabees. Yeah. In fact, she said his teeth are like stars. Oh, they're shiny. No, 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 they come out at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every night before they go to bed, she says, Mike, I'm gonna brush my teeth. And if you pull yours out, I'll brush yours for you. <laughs> that you, we are not here to pick on Mike. Yes, we are. Keith and Trey gave me 20 bucks to do it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, that's Jeff for everybody. Wow! Yeah. We're gonna get situated here. I brought two other friends. This is Harold and Irene. Harold, say hi. Hi! Hey, there's Keith down there. Oh, you know Keith. He's my grandpa. <laughs> Good to see you. He was showing us around Nashville today. Oh, that sounds fun. Not so good. He ran over a cat. He, oh, he ran over a cat. What did it look like? Look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I meant before he hit it. Oh, this story hit it. Look like. <laughs> <laughs> when he, Harold is a wonderful wife. This is Irene. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Get me out of here. They've been married for like forever. 60 years. Don't remind me. I'm sure a lot of things have come and gone in 60 years. Oh my goodness, everything changes. Except for me. I never change. No, he never does. And it saves me lots of washing. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, by the way, before I get... Happy birthday. She had a big birthday. I won't say how old. 39. <laughs> you sure it's really 39? Well, maybe more like 39.95. <laughs> Plus a whole lot of shipping and handling. <laughs> what did you get for your birthday? Not what I asked for. Yes, shoot. I did not. I told her I wanted the new iPad. You, you didn't get her the new iPad. For the hundredth time, I told you I thought an iPad was the same thing as Depends. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You better make it up to her. That's what we're doing. I brought her to Nashville to see Huckabee. Wow. How are you going to top that next year? I'm going to come back and get her. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you guys, I love getting to do ventriloquism. I mean, it's even harder to do, you know, two characters. That's three different voices. And the worst nightmare is to get them mixed up. That is a disaster. <laughs> you can say that again. Wait a minute. I've got your voice. And I've got his. Come on, so if I've got yours. And I've got his. What about your belt? I've got yours. What are we gonna do about this? I'm getting out of here. How about if you count to three? Okay. And we'll all take our own voices back again. Sounds good, do it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, wow. You killed it. So nice to have you here. You know, people yeah. love to laugh. They need to laugh. And sometimes we forget that that's really not a little person over there that you're talking <laughs> through. People, people get freaked out sometimes. I'll be honest with you. Well, yes. Keith thought it was real. He really did. He's, he's not <laughs> sure about it. You've played before some amazing crowds. I mean, small yeah. groups. Yeah. What's the biggest crowd you ever played? The biggest crowd I ever did live was for 55,000 people. I, I know wow. somebody said, were you scared? I said, no, you can only see the first 10,000. So it was fine. <laughs> but then we've done some small things. Um, I live in, I mentioned, you know, living in Lancaster yeah. County, and I was invited by the families of the, many of the audience would remember when the Amish school incident happened many years ago, yeah. to be invited just weeks after to bring mm. my friends and get to meet children who'd been through a very, very difficult time and wow. get to meet the kids that survived that. That must have been an incredible moment, it though, was. for you, but also for them. To, it was. You know, we, got, to we need to past. laugh. They made me smile and laugh. I made them smile and laugh. Well, it's, it's great having you here. I hope that we'll have you back. Would you Promise to come back? I would love to come back. We would love it to so have great. you. Thank you for letting me have some fun with you. So You're fun. forgiven. It's okay. <laughs> we enjoyed it immensely. Now, for bookings, show dates, and Ryan's hilarious DVDs, visit ryanandfriends.com. Also, be sure to follow Ryan and Friends Comedy on Facebook.